The focus for today is to talk about topic sentences that they have to prove your point or prove the predicate in the rest of the paragraph if we're talking about a topic sentence or the rest of the essay if we're talking about a larger essay. I call this the about point method for analyzing any topic sentence. And you do this so you will know which part of the sentence you must prove, develop, or elaborate upon with more details in the rest of the paragraph or the essay. About is the subject and point is the predicate and those two together equal a complete thesis statement or a complete topic sentence. We know that every sentence is about something. That's its subject. It might be about the economy or about the presidency or about the cost of tomatoes in your grocery market. But it's always about something. And every sentence also makes a point or reveals an attitude about the subject if it is to be a topic sentence or a thesis statement. A subject and a point about the subject together express a complete thought. They form the topic sentence or thesis statement. And it's important that you take a position on your subject and word it strongly. It looks like this if you were to graph it out like you used to do if you diagram sentences. The subject and then the predicate or the subject and then the point about the subject. It breaks into two parts. Not every sentence is that neat in the way it breaks down, but let's look at some that are. Traffic gridlock on the 401 costs the city millions. What's our subject? Traffic gridlock on the 401. Not just traffic gridlock and not just traffic, but traffic gridlock in a particular place, the 401. That's the subject. And what's our point about that particular traffic gridlock? It costs the city millions. Or some CEO salaries are unfair to their employees. The subject is some CEO salaries, not just anybody's salaries, but some CEO salaries. And the point about them is that they are unfair to their employees. Or infertility leads to three devastating marital problems. Now, that may be true or it may be false or it might be just what we're going to argue here. Could be the truth is that it leads to 17 devastating marital problems or it may lead to none, but taking the position that it leads to three devastating marital problems makes it the basis for a further developed paragraph or essay. And finally, state laws against selling bath salts are necessary to control drug overdoses. Again, you can't just talk about any state law in that particular paragraph. You can only talk about state laws against selling bath salt. So that's our topic. And the point we're going to make is are necessary to control drug overdoses. That's an attitude or a point of view. Are necessary. <clears throat> can it, I can't emphasize enough that Thesis statements or topic sentences take a strong position on something. They are not just statements of fact, and they're not weak positions. Great Pyrenees are good dogs. Well, that's probably true, but it's not a strong enough thing. Good dogs is not strong enough to be worthy of an entire paragraph or an essay. We could change it to read, Great Pyrenees are ideal dogs for families with small children. We've narrowed it by a qualifier like for families with small children. And we've gone from saying great, a good dogs to ideal dogs. The difference between good and ideal is substantial. So that makes that particular sentence arguable. Similarly, bicycles are seen on state highways. Well, they either are or they're not, and you can prove that just by going out and looking for 24 hours. So that's not a good topic sentence, but bicycles lists cause too many fatalities when they use Missouri's highways is a stronger topic sentence or thesis statement. Cause too many fatalities 
makes it a stronger sentence and worthy of a paragraph or possibly an essay. And finally, some parents still spank their children. That's either a statement of fact or it's a statement of a false fact, but it doesn't necessarily require much more development. Stronger would be parents who spank their children get significant negative side effects from spanking. That's the attitude part, get significant negative side effects. To review in a topic sentence in the essay that follows a thesis statement or the paragraph that follows a topic sentence, it's important to prove the point part of the topic sentence. Subject plus point about the subject equals a topic sentence or a thesis statement. For example, traffic gridlock on the 401 costs the city too many millions of dollars. Our subject is traffic gridlock on the 401. Not just traffic, not just traffic gridlock, but traffic gridlock on the 401 is our subject. And what's the point in this sentence? Costs the city too many millions of dollars. That's what we'll talk about in the rest of that paragraph, how it costs too many millions of dollars. We can't just get off on traffic gridlock and say it exists in cities all over the world and it causes frustrations to every driver or anything else. We can only focus on proving costs the city too many millions of dollars. Next, some CEO salaries are unfair to their employees. The subject is some CEO salaries and the point they are unfair to their employees. What would you expect to hear in the paragraph that followed some CEO salaries are unfair to their employees? I would expect to hear answers to the question, so why are they unfair? And you could give two or three reasons why they're unfair and you would have a complete paragraph or possibly a complete essay if you're take, undertaking a larger work. Infertility leads to three devastating marital problems. Again, that may not be true. It may be that it leads to seven or 12, or it may be that it doesn't lead to any marital problems, but we are taking the position that it leads to three devastating material problems. That's what we would further prove. What would you have to come up with in that paragraph to further prove leads to three devastating marital problems? I would look for examples. Tell me what the three are. For example, this, for example, that, for example, this third thing. State laws against selling bath salts are necessary to control drug overdoses. Again, we can't just talk about state laws. We have to talk about state laws that are against selling bath salts. And we have to further explain or improve why they are necessary to control drug overdoses. You may have taken a speech class in which the instructor told you this tried and true technique. Your topic sentence tells your readers or your listeners what you're going to tell them and the body of your essay actually tells them and then the summary paragraph or the concluding sentence reminds them what you just told them. That's the way you develop a paragraph or an essay.